This is why, this is why, this is why people watch reality TV shows. And this is why people binge series because they want to know what's next, because they love to follow a good journey. Your story is you. Your story is your journey. So do not ever think once that your story is not entertaining, even if it is quote unquote, the boringest story out there. Because guess what? The majority of people live. Welcome back to Zero to 10K, the 25 part series and how to make $10,000. Today we are covering how to create your brand story. Now this is basically one of those things where you are going to use in your content, but you're also going to use to really connect with your audience. Because up until now, we have covered part one of the money system, which is really getting clear, really getting embodied when it comes to your mindset. And then we really start to get into branding, which is what we're in right now, part two. But the last piece when it comes to the brand before we get into product creation is really knowing kind of like your origin story is what people call it. Like how, why did you even create your brand? Why did you even create your business? Like what basically got you here to this point right now? And the brand story is once again, what all big businesses, brands, and people just have, even when you are in school, like grade school, and you're reading through like biographies and memoirs and like big textbooks there is always stories behind people that just do like big great amazing things so for you you need to have a brand story now i know you might be thinking to yourself i haven't really done anything like remarkable there isn't really anything that i've gone through you have a story okay because i remember when i was in college i had a mentor i was once again 19 years old and when I met him we went out with a few people and I was just trying to get to know him he was trying to get to know me because he was helping me build my business and become an entrepreneur and one thing that he asked me that I'll never forget was Saba tell me your story like what is your story and I remember you want to know what he said I looked at him like this and I'm like I don't have a story. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I've done nothing. I don't really have a story. And he said, Saba, everybody has a story, whether you think you do or you don't. And back then, up until that moment, my story was I lost my mom when I was 15 years old. I was in toxic, abusive relationship for four years in high school. I graduated high school. I came to college and I felt so lost in life until... I met a mentor who started to help me get into the path that I was always meant to be on. Like that was my story back then. And I didn't even know it because I did not even bring awareness to my story at all whatsoever. So for today's video, what we're going to do is cultivate and really look at like, what is your brand story that got you from where you used to be to where you're at right now. Now, all of your stories may be different because some of you watching, you might already want to have a business, have a brand, while some of you, this is literally like your first step into building your own business and entrepreneurship. And having a story is really gonna help you not just sell your product, but really connect with people on a deeper level because you don't also just wanna be like popping up on social media and be like, hey guys, like this is what I'm really good at, this is what my product is, go buy it you actually want to connect with your audience they're like oh my gosh i can actually relate to him or her now a quick like synopsis of like my brand story is i was in college i was super broke once again i was lost in life because i didn't necessarily know how to progress in life after losing my mom going through a bad bad heartbreak that just like tore my self-confidence i didn't really know what to do Right, but like my turning point was starting to create content on social media, seeing that I was helping people with the story that I thought I did not have. And then of course, now I built a multi six figure business in my 20s, helping people all across the world build profitable personal brands simply by just being themselves, right? That is my story, right? And I can get, of course, more detailed in how I was like broke, I was living at my dad's house. And some of you guys like know bits and pieces of my story, right but like a quick synopsis like 
that is my story. I was in college, I was broke living at my dad's house, and then I built my business, moved to Florida, and like the rest is history. So in order to create your brand story, you basically wanna look back at your timeline and see what are all of like the events and all of the turning points that really got to where you're at right now. Now, how I always help my clients come up with their brand story is basically with this three-part system. Okay, you have your old you, you have your transformational you, and then you have your new you. So you always want to think about where were you back in your old timeline where things were honestly just like really difficult and hard. That is where you were maybe at like your lowest point. You didn't necessarily know what you wanted to do. And then there's always like a turning point, right? Either you're like your aha moment, there's an epiphany that basically gets you on the track of your new life, your success now, the results that you have, right? So even when you think about movies, they have this exact storyline, okay? It's literally, there's something wrong that's happening with the main character, they have a problem, and then there's like a turning point. Either they meet someone, they experience something, or they just look at themselves in the mirror, they're like, yes, I am Superman, and I'm going to help the world, right? And then they go off, and they become the new you, and they get the results, Right? So the same thing as a movie, you are creating your own story. And once again, you're not even creating your own story, you are identifying your story because you already have one. Now, since we have already gone through and picked out like your specialized skill, what you're gonna help people with, you wanna think back on, okay, where was like the old version of you? So if you chose how to help people be more confident in relationships, there was probably a prior version of you where you weren't so confident, right? So you wanna identify what that was. Was that in high school? Was that in college? Was that maybe just like a year ago you weren't that confident? Was it maybe a month ago you weren't that confident? And once again, guys, like when I'm sharing this, it doesn't have to be this like, rags to riches story at all whatsoever honestly the best stories are once again the most simple stories okay right so maybe you know you were back then you didn't have um you know confidence in your relationships xyz and then maybe there's a turning point maybe you didn't meet, meet your significant other or maybe you realize your turning point was oh i need to first love myself before somebody can love me and now maybe you're in a loving relationship or now maybe you have learned what it really means to love yourself and and now you're helping other people, right? That's the entire point. We wanna come up with that brand story that you can also tell your audience and your potential clients. And if you are thinking back on your timeline, on your life, and you're like, nothing really fits in with my brand right now, what I chose as a specialized skill, use this moment, like use the present moment as your story. The reason why you're watching this video, the reason why you're even attending the series is because you wanted more in life, is because you knew you were meant to make more money, to help more people and to actually be happy, right? So the older version of you, maybe you were annoyed at your nine to five job, or maybe you're just like at home and honestly you have a great life, but you just know you're meant to do more and bigger things. And maybe the turning point is literally this video, it is. And then the new version of you is going out and creating your brand, is going out and helping people do X, Y, and Z. Like people love, this is why, this is why, this is why people watch reality TV shows. And this is why people binge series because they want to know what's next, because they love to follow a good journey. Your story is you your story is your journey. So do not ever think once that your story is not entertaining, even if it is quote unquote, the boringest story out there. Because guess what? The majority of people live a boring and mundane life. Guess what they're gonna relate to? A boring and mundane life. That is also why, I mean, I'm kind of getting like off track here, but I quickly wanna say it. That is why when people blow up on social media, um, they become, you know, big business owners, make a lot of money, influencers, celebrities, X, Y, and Z, people stop relating to them because their story is way out here. And that does not mean they don't make money and they don't impact people, they do, but like it's just a different version of their story, right? So sometimes I always say the story where you're maybe just like one, at, one step ahead from your ideal client or one step ahead from somebody you wanna help is the best story because they can actually relate to it, right? You're not that far ahead, but you're 
you're far ahead to a point where you could actually help somebody else. And if I haven't said this already a million times in part two of this series is, this is gonna help you set yourself apart. Nobody has your story. Nobody has your story, okay? Nobody. So it does not matter what you're selling. It does not matter what niche you're in. It does not matter your specialized skill. Like it does not matter if you think it's like, it's gonna sell out or if you think only one person is gonna buy. It does not matter because what is going to sell it is you and your story. And this is also why stories are so, so important because if you create one piece of content, someone might see that, reach out to you and immediately buy your offer. And this happens all the time to clients in my monetized social membership community. It's like they go through the community, they use my resources when it comes to creating really good content, getting really clear in their messaging. They make a piece of content and then all of a sudden they make a sale. Like it happens time and time again it blows my mind how like simple it really is once you know what your story is you know what you're selling the clarity in your messaging and then you just go out and you put yourself out there okay so if you're also not in monetized social membership and you've been eyeing it too the link is in the comments if you guys want to join and if you love this series like the community is going to be 10 times more than this because the amount of resources value the weekly calls that you do with me that you can actually talk to me not just like watching a video on your phone it is next level so i'm so excited to see you guys in there if you choose to join. So you already know, can you guess today's homework, which is basically creating your brand story. And I love, I love to get to know you guys. Like I really do. One of my favorite things is opening up my phone at the end of the day, going to my YouTube app and looking at all your comments. Cause I'm like, there are so many cool people here that I've never met before. That makes it just like so exciting. So I want you guys to write out your story and share it in the comments with us. I don't care if it's this long. I don't care if it's this long. Share your story with us because this is also like your first step in really putting yourself out there, putting your brand out there and becoming known because you never know. There might be somebody who watches this video, looks at the comments, looks at your story, reaches out to you and needs your help. And boom, you might get your first client. Boom, you might make $10,000. Like I kid you not, this happens. And this happens so frequently, more times than you know it. So comment below and share your story once you craft it out for yourself. So that is all for today. Come back tomorrow for day 15 because tomorrow we're getting into the nitty gritty and really identifying the product that you're going to be selling to make that money. And if you need to watch yesterday's video or any of the videos that you maybe missed in this 25 part series, I'm going to link the playlist right here. So that is all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys so, so much. And until tomorrow, make sure that you stay unforgettable.